Welcome to today's stimulus update. Today, we of course are going to talk about the second stimulus check. We're also going to talk about a $400 stimulus payment that you may receive. We're going to address President Trump's executive orders in addition to the tax deferral and even talk about student loan forgiveness. Okay, so we're gonna address all that in today's video. So. We have some big news and possibly life-saving news for some. Yesterday, President Trump, he did four executive orders. He signed four executive orders. Three of those are going to be fairly easy. One is going to be very complex and somewhat complicated to actually you know, implement. So, before I address what is in these orders, I first want to explain what is not inside these executive orders. Later, after I address the four executive orders, I'm gonna do that in a couple minutes, but after that, I want to explain what you should expect moving forward, okay? And as far as what to expect in regards to a future stimulus package. Now, the first thing that you need to understand is what is not in any of these executive orders, okay? What isn't there? First off, we have the second stimulus check. It is not in one of these executive orders. We also have no state and local government funding. That's not there. We don't have any funding for testing or tracing, which both parties stated was very, very important to reopening the economy. We also don't have any funding for schools, which are supposed to open up very soon if they haven't done so already. And there's no fun funding for the PPP program, which both parties have stated and agreed on money for PPP. That's the Payment Protection Program, which is essentially for businesses to give to their employees to keep them on and keep them working, which would essentially help the, help out the economy a great deal. There's also no money for SNAP benefits and no money for so much more. That is just what is not inside any of these any of these uh, executive orders. Now, we know what is not inside these executive orders, but what is inside these executive orders? What was actually signed? First off, and one of the most important things that most people believe, okay, is there was an executive order for the unemployment boost or that federal unemployment benefit. President Trump, he did an executive order for $400 per week for the unemployment boost. That's from the federal government, okay? However, he stated that the federal government will only supply 75% of that amount and the rest has to come from the state itself. So if it's a $400 per week unemployment benefit from the federal government, that means the federal government is actually only giving you 300 and your state is giving you the additional 100. States on their own, they can give you more if they want to. They can give you up to that $600 um, amount. However, the problem is most states do not have the funding, do not have the money. And again, remember, this is one of the issues. There was supposed to be state and local government funding. If a lot of states don't have the money, President Trump was asked, what happens? And he stated, if states don't have money to pay, then that's on them. So essentially, he's telling them, telling you, if your state does not have any money to pay you that additional $100, then actually the federal government doesn't have to give you anything. Your state has to be able to put up 25% or else the federal government doesn't have to give you anything. Also, one of the other stipulations here was you have to make, or you have to be able to get a state benefit. So from your state, from your, your basic unemployment insurance, you have to be paid more than $100 per week. If you are paid less than that, you don't receive any of the additional federal unemployment benefit, right? So that's a big issue there. Now, for how long will this go on? Because many people are saying till the end of the year. However, there is a, a finite date here. However, it doesn't look like we will even get close to that date. Let me explain. 
First off, President Trump has stated that this benefit will go no further, no longer than December 6th, 2020. That is the official deadline. Okay, that's the cutoff. Anything past that, hey, there will no, be no uh, extended benefit. But here's what you need to understand. The funding for, for this program comes from Homeland Security's Disaster Relief Fund, which currently has about $70 billion in the fund. President Trump stated benefits will extend until this fund um, depletes down to $25 billion, which essentially leaves $45 billion, roughly $44 billion in this fund. Okay, That can be um, used for the unemployment boost. Here's what you need to understand. Currently, let's say there's 20 million unemployed Americans. At 20 million people times $300 per week comes out to $6 billion. $6 billion That's only, per week. That is only going to last us seven weeks of unemployment benefit from the federal government. Okay? So, let's say that this program starts on September 1st, that means it would actually end on October 18th. So not even two full months. But this is very unlikely. And it's mostly unlikely because this is a completely new program. This doesn't operate on the regular unemployment insurance program. So because of that, your state would have to create their own program. This is based on what experts are saying and based on multiple reports is your state would have to implement a brand new program which will not be funded by the federal government, but this would have to be completely new, which could possibly take months to actually um, have, have done and become somewhat successful. We already know the programs that the unemployment offices use are outdated. So for them to implement something brand new and do something completely different, which is gonna be on that state, that's going to be very tough. It's a very tall task. So most experts predict that this money that is set aside, the deadline will come and go before anybody actually receives any money from the federal government. Okay? So I just want to be very clear. It doesn't look like this is going to be a great program, but we will have to wait and see. The next thing that he did an executive order on was the payroll tax deferral. This is just a deferment. What that means is you will get an additional 7.65% back or more on your income, okay, on your, your paycheck. However, President Trump does not have the power to forgive any taxes or any debts, okay? He doesn't have the power to do that. He can create an executive order, but it's on Congress to actually go and pass something that will forgive any of these taxes, which based on what we know, both Democrats and the Republicans were not in favor of a payroll tax cut. So because of that, they stopped even talking about it and didn't even plan on putting it in to any of the stimulus packages, which simply put means they didn't like it. So I, I highly doubt Congress is going to pass anything like that, which means Let's say you get $1,000 per week. You will essentially get $76.56 more per week in your income. Okay, because you will not have to pay that for taxes. For the, that is actually gear, or earmarked for Social Security and Medicaid. That won't be paid. However, if you don't pay that $76.50 every single week, at the end of the year, you might have to pay all of that back. Okay? It might not be forgiven, which in most cases, and many people don't predict this, but it probably will not be forgiven. Okay, So just keep that in mind. You may get it now, you can use it, but eventually you will have to pay it back, which most people don't want to do. Now the last two, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on these simply because they're pretty easy to understand. The first one is the extension of the eviction ban. Now, this, this is calling on... Uh, President Trump is calling on other agencies, other federal agencies, to help fund this program. Where not only is, because all he's doing is extending the eviction ban. Okay, that's it. States have already implemented their own eviction ban extension. But he's doing one at a federal level. Here's what you need to keep in mind. 
just because he does this doesn't really help any people down the road because if if many Americans are living paycheck to paycheck, there's no way they're going to be able to pay any back rent, especially if they haven't been working, okay? They have other bills piling up as well. So eventually, it's all gonna come crashing down. So President Trump is calling on other federal agencies to help fund a program to give people in need money to help pay any back rent. Now, this, this money, okay, it would help, however, this is the f when President Trump did his his interview and did his speech and all that stuff and signed the executive orders. This was pretty much the first time these agencies even heard of this. So he was telling them through the media and the media was learning about this the same time the agencies were. Same time states were learning about this for the unemployment. So he hasn't been in communication with states, with the other federal agencies, Really, he's just been talking to Steve Mnuchin and Mark Meadows. And the last thing that he did an executive order on, which I think is great, uh, which helps out a lot of people, is the student loan payment deferral, okay? Which he's pretty much deferring any student loan payments um, for an extended period of time. He hasn't said exactly when, okay? For, you know, until further notice is pretty much what he stated. However, this is only for federal student loans. If you have a student loan through a bank, okay, you have a student loan that you pay on a credit card or some other institution, you still have to pay it. This is only for federal student loans. Now, what you need to understand is he is deferring student loan payments until further notice and he's forgiving any interest accrued on your student loan till the end of this year. So it really is a win-win in this instance. I think this is where he he really did something positive is deferring student loans because as of right now, many students haven't even been going to school. Many students have you know a couple semesters to make up. So because of this, there is going to be some people that are looking at like, I think that's the only good thing in this executive order. And in my opinion, this is probably the best thing. All the other thing need a little bit of work. Now, here's what we can expect moving forward. First off, expect any unemployment boost to take a while to even see. Like I said, this is a completely different program. Your state will have to implement this program and do something on their own, and it will be funded by your state. So because of that, many states are not even going to attempt to do this. And because of that, you will not receive any additional federal unemployment boost. Okay, that's one of the problems. The other problem is it's gonna take a while to even see. Okay, so don't expect just because it, it happened yesterday that your state's gonna jump on it and it's gonna be ready to go next week. That's probably not the case. Is it going to happen in some instances? Maybe, but again, we'll just have to wait and see. The second thing that you can expect is expect Congress to get back together and do some more negotiations. Do I think it's gonna happen quickly? No but expect it to happen because if it doesn't happen, they will risk the entire U.S. economy for months. It is not going to quickly rebound. People are not going to start just going back to work. You know, the eviction you know, ban is not going to help everybody catch up on their, their past you know, rent payments. It's just not going to work like that. So expect Congress to get back together at some point. Also, Expect a second stimulus check to come eventually. Will it happen this month? Probably not. We are pretty much you know, outside the realm of possibility there. However, it could still happen, but expect a second stimulus check to come more in September, possibly October, because both parties are gonna want to entice the American people with a second stimulus check to hopefully vote for them come election time. So just be aware of that this is a huge political game. This is pretty much all it's been for the past three weeks. It's just a political game. Both parties have shown, do they really care about the American people? Well, depends who you're looking at, depends who you're listening to, and depends I, pretty much uh, you know, where you stand. Are you a Democrat? Are you a Republican? Do you not even care? Here is what I'm I'm pretty much saying it's going to happen. Expect a stimulus package to pass at some point. And in most cases, 
Reports are saying a stimulus package will most likely pass in September simply because it will do both parties the most good. If it passes, you know, let's say early to mid September, that means stimulus checks are going out maybe the end to of September to early October. So what do you think people are, are thinking about when it comes election time? They're thinking about that stimulus check that uh, did Nancy Pelosi's really get this passed? Or was it Mitch McConnell and the Republicans? You know, who was it? Because that's going to change a lot of people's mind when it comes to who are they voting for? Not only for the presidency, but for the Senate as well. And lastly, expect the worst. Yeah, I'm telling you this right now. I've been telling you this for, for months. Expect things to get bad before they ever get better. Things have been slowly getting worse. Things are getting somewhat bad in many you know, cases, uh, many places across the country. However, things have not gotten the worse they're going to get. Things are continuing to get worse. COVID-19 cases, we're seeing a downtrend, which is, which is positive news, which is good. But the problem is there are still other things that need to be implemented throughout the country in order to see a rebound. So as of right now, I'm just warning you, expect the worst. So all right, guys, that's all I have for you today. Hopefully you enjoyed the stimulus check update, stimulus package update. Just understand there are stimulus payments out there. Hopefully you will receive them. But if you have any questions on how to make money online, all you gotta do, come back and ask me any question down in the comment section below. But last thing, like always, can you do me a favor if you enjoyed today's stimulus package update? Do me a favor, smash that thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I'll see you guys on the next one.